Now, traditionally, Billy, uh -huh. we always bet on it being Nekomaru. Yes. Because that is the choice of Steins Gate, the will of causality, and the so-called random nature <laughs> of this program. We're on to you, Al. To be fair, it hasn't picked Nekomaru yet. So are you saying that if we're not going to expect Nekomaru, that it will pick Nekomaru? What if I, in fact, do not want it to be Nekomaru? So you should use reverse, reverse psychology. Uh-huh. And actually hope that it is Nekomaru while I am hoping that it is not Nekomaru. These sorts of psychological roller coasters are how this program was designed. It uses a specially designed headset to read your brain waves. Oh, that's our headphones. Yes. Well, maybe it doesn't then. Okay, let's see who it's gonna be. We're the bittersweet gamers. I'm Ruth Square. And I'm cynical. So Mahidu <laughs> and Peko are the ones that it has that have the most events left. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's going to be Mahiru then. Nope! Wrong on both counts! I like how it immediately eliminated Nekomaru. Our plan worked perfectly. Billy just wants to have a character that he voices left in one of these. Because otherwise I'm doing all of them! Is that so wrong? Isn't that weird? It's in both Danganronpa 1 and 2, random choice has always led to it picking all of the characters that, that Billy voiced in the LP in a frickin' row! Oh, I guess this means we have finally broken through 1% divergence. So what do you think? Is Nekomaru gonna be the last one? I kind of feel like since we got Akane this time, he might be the next one. Yeah, it does kind of work that way, doesn't it? We went straight from Nagito to Chiaki after all. Okay, so Akane's the killer. There's no killing in island mode, Damon. For anybody that doesn't remember, I kept accusing Akane to the point where I felt like I had to accuse Akane, even if I really didn't think it was Akane. Well, at least you're being consistent. Well, I was open about that at the time. Like chapter two, chapter three, and chapter four. Though I kind of didn't think so in chapter four. And then five, you were obviously making a joke because come on. No, in 5, it was completely the opposite oh, of right. that. In Chapter 5, I thought she was actually going to be the one who was considered guilty because she's the one that opened the door and knocked them down. But in a roundabout way, that would make her the killer. Well, yeah, that's what I was going at. And I was moved by that and thought that it would be absolutely terrible for it to turn out that way. It didn't, however. Listen up. The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it. <laughs> Lights, fighting, and meat. That's right, the gymnastic thing. Not only does she not care about it, but she was only doing it because someone bribed her. Yes. She knows parkour because she ran away from people after stealing their meat. And she's had a really bad childhood. Remember she had to be a waitress that didn't wear panties? Uh, yeah, I was going to say as in molestation and rape. It's kind of amazing that she has the personality that she does, but it's also easy to see how she fell into despair. Yeah. She sort of experienced nothing but bad things, and I guess she can't really pull herself out of it. It might be premature to say this, but since she always acts the same way, always makes the same choices, she can't really ever do anything different, so she's being taken advantage of by people around her. Ultimately, isn't that what Junko did? Mm. This island is full of mysteries. That is an understatement. Oh. There might be a tower that reaches the heavens, or a strong dude sealed up in an electric jar! Is that a Dragon Ball reference? Yeah. Well done. Ah, should they talk about squeezing a tail to make you weaker? The front tail. It works every time! <laughs> Alright, doesn't matter what it is. Let's go find it! They say the world is full of treasure! Why are we going on a treasure hunt when you just come up and talk to me? Maybe the treasure is that you handed me a Google Huff cake. <laughs> I spent time today getting dragged around by Akane while we searched for treasure. I didn't find any Dragon Balls! 
I didn't find One Piece. I didn't find the legendary secret treasure Z. <laughs> It's food. Once I accept this, I'll never return it to you, no matter what, because it's food, and I eat the food. I mean, if you really want, I can give you what's left after I'm done with it. No, 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 we're not doing his FTs. Hajime, are you into that? Man, you're so weird. Mm. Uh, hey, you. You're like really small, uh... What was your name again? Ichiro? Was that it? My name is Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Harvey? It's Hajime! Hey, come on! Ichiro is a pretty good guess. It means first son. And Hajime kind of means like first, sort of. So I was thinking along the right lines. Oh, well, Harvey, Hajime, Ichiro, Fuyuhiko. Franklin, they're all the same name. Anyway, are you even eating? I don't really have much of an appetite, but I am eating regularly. Look, if you ate a bag of Google Huff cakes every day, you'd grow a chest like this too. I would? Mm. Ah, well, whatever. Whenever I see small things that don't look like they're eating much, I can't help feeling worried. They're not good to eat either. Maybe that's part of the reason she keeps hanging around for you, Hiko. She really got close to him near the end. You know, you're right. That did happen. I guess that's it. Someone small that doesn't eat much. <laughs> you can't survive if you don't eat when you can, you know? Oh, she's going to mention something in a cheerful manner that's going to make us sad about her past. Well, well it's true that eating is necessary, but... Aren't you going a little overboard? Mate. Of course not. This is normal back home. What, are you saying that you never had any trouble finding your next meal? Hey, Akane. I've been wondering about this for a while, but... And I hesitate to ask this. About your home. Huh? It's not that big of a deal. The only major difference between you and me is that I have about seven little brothers and sisters and my parents don't work. Oh my god! The only thing? What the heck? You know how every time you get a new mom or dad, you get new siblings too? So That's not a normal thing! So I just acquired a whole bunch of them. Well, that's why I don't really know exactly how many siblings I have. I never really bothered to learn all their names either. That's really messed up. What? It's totally normal. There's nothing wrong with it and nothing sad. Then you took on part-time jobs to help support your family? No, I took on part-time jobs so I could eat. <laughs> I, I mean, no. <laughs> gotta, gotta feed the little ones, you know? Because whenever she sees someone small who doesn't eat very much... Huh, what a remarkably straightforward way to look at things. She's remarkably straightforward. That is true, she is. When I had my waitressing gig, I'd sometimes steal. I mean, borrow, borrow leftovers to bring home. I got paid an hourly wage. I also got tips, too, which is pretty sweet. Ah, uh, you probably got a lot of tips, to be fair. Yeah, I did, how'd you know? And I even got to keep my panties on. I have to mention that. <sighs> I didn't let customers motorboat me either. If they tried, I kicked their ass! Of course! That's normal! It was the greatest job I ever had! Hmm? Why are you getting so mad about all this stuff? I'm getting mad for you! Why? I'm fine. I mean, you're a girl. Don't talk about keeping your panties on so casually. You shouldn't... That shouldn't be something you can so easily say. Oh. Oh, I see. Um, sorry. No, I'm sorry too. I shouldn't have asked such personal questions, even though that's the whole point of these FTEs. I'm not trying to bother you or anything, but it's still the way it was. But I'm okay with that. Why aren't you? <sighs> it's so awkward. Oh, I remember now. I guess I have been yelled at or scolded like this before. Back when I was waiting tables, there was this weird old dude who used to come all the time. He was a gymnastics coach. 
I wasn't really into sports, and especially not gymnastics. I didn't know what it was. But no matter how much I punched and kicked him, he was really persistent. <laughs> That's not... I, I'm just... No. In fact, he looked like he was enjoying it. He kept telling me I had an amazing body while I continued to punch him and kick him in the face. Those are called masochists. Then he left tips. He was seriously a gross old dude. <laughs> But thanks to him, I was able to move out with my siblings and find a new home for us. Well, that's good. I see. I think that's good, though. Yeah. I think I'm gradually starting to understand Akane a little better. Good but, God! In, in all seriousness, uh, she is, although extremely dumb, it could be said that she's actually just utterly thoughtless. Like, her head is empty... Because putting things into her head would only have made things worse. She had to kind of numb her brain in order to deal with all that crap? Yeah, empty it out so you don't have to think about stuff. So you can stuff more dreams in? Or at least stuff more taking care of your siblings in. Well, whether she remembers how many of them there are or not, that doesn't really matter. I know a little something about acquiring new siblings through marriage as well. Ah. Holy crap! What? I just really kind of thought about the implications of that and the direct content of Akane's FTEs so far. Well, anyway, I guess you really can relate to Akane a lot, can't you? Yeah, my boobs are huge. Oh, God. After standing around awkwardly for a bit, I left the area. Are you kidding? The Discord's gonna have a freaking field day memeing that. <laughs> So she hasn't said too much so far. Mainly all we've heard from her Japanese voice is, uh, mm, uh. <laughs> But uh, it's Romy Park, who is actually one of my favorites. She's kind of unique in that she's Korean and oh. actually became a big star as a, as a seiyu. That's pretty cool. In her non-native language. <laughs> uh, she was one of the people... That when I saw her in the credits when we beat Danganronpa 2, I was like, wow, it's Romy Park. Honestly, her as Akane kind of makes sense. It makes sense that she keeps bringing up all the fighting power and Dragon Ball references. Not because she was in Dragon Ball, but she has a lot of roles in, like, Battle Shonen. I see, shows. I see. Edward Elric. Oh! Uh, Hitsugaya in Bleach. Ichijoji Ken in Digimon. So she voices a lot of small guys. Lauren Sayak in Turn A Gundam. <laughs> she voices a bunch of small skinny guys. Short. Short skinny guys. Short young guys who don't have any meat on their bones. <laughs> oh, uh, and Ueki from Law of Ueki. So she's done a lot of main characters. Ueki's kind of like Akane as a character. You know, in some ways, Ueki is. He doesn't sweat the small stuff. At all. He goes with his gut. Very specifically goes with his gut. Also relevant to this audience specifically, she voiced Naoto in Persona 4. So Danganronpa 1 was not expected to be a success, as I understand it, and turned out to kind of be a cult hit. Which is why they got a bunch of celebrity seiyu voice actors for Danganronpa 2, including Romy Park. And it would seem that several of them were cast... In roles suitable for their careers. Yes! Neat, huh? Anyway, man, I'm starving! Let's go find some food. Uh, What was your name again? <laughs> Hector? Something like that? Ow. I'll just answer to whatever you say that starts with an H. Hajime. I want to believe she's just playing with me and doing this on purpose. Hey, Hajime. I found a place that might have a lot of awesome things. Come on, let's go. Because apparently what we do is run around looking for cool stuff, like shiny rocks. If it means that we change the scene that we're going to be standing in, I am all for it. Akane grabbed me by my arm and dragged me to... The storage room inside the old building. Yeah, it's full of treasures, like those pink bubbly things. <laughs> the rolled up newspapers. And if you find a spider, you can eat them. I don't want to eat spiders, Akane. 
Ugh. Why not? They're juicy and they pop in your mouth. <laughs> What's wrong? Does your stomach hurt, Humberto? Here, let me put some food in it and that'll make it better. <laughs> anyway, Motomi will let you in here in this room we're not supposed to go in if you just ask her. She sure is a pushover, like when I push her over. <laughs> Why does Hajime keep bringing girls into the st storage room? I f failed as a teacher! <laughs> <laughs> I found out there's canned food here! They're only 10 years expired! Isn't that awesome? Since there's no one here, you can stay bo borrow as much as you want! Akane, we don't use money at the Rocket Punch Market. There's not like a mono teller there. But I found food, and I want to take all the food. You do that. I am! Man, it's a canned food party! Yum, raw beans! They taste really bad! Just takes the can and arr, like starts gnawing the can with her teeth. It's important to get minerals! <laughs> and to build up the muscles in your teeth! Oh god, in your teeth! Akane's eyes lit up from being surrounded by food. She sort of looks like a little kid. I like how you can eat the bones in the sardines. Do you like crunching bones, Hajime? I feel the need to flee for my life. When she looks this happy, it's hard for me to want or be able to stop her. Score! Yeah! When things don't make sense, the only thing I can do is stuff my face. So I stuff my face all the time! That explains so much. As long as I can eat and move my body, that's when I feel like I'm alive. That's all I need. Hmm. That's very Akane, I think. But is that really okay? I don't think it can be, or should be, everything. Yeah. But uh, it's really good to get through difficult situations. Kind of eating to fill the void, maybe? Well, not just eating. She's taking don't think do to, like, an extreme? If you only have the same response to difficulties, it can get you through the difficulties, but can it get you past them? I'm just saying she never learns anything. Yeah, she never grows. Yeah. I'm not... It's She's not, stagnating. Yeah, it's not my intention to, like, beat her up. Well, for one, you couldn't. But I think that stagnation is one of the reasons that she became ultimate despair. There yeah. must have been something she was deeply unsatisfied with, and her mantra of move and eat, which I'm not putting down, wasn't enough to get her all the way past her troubles. Like, at some point, you have to confront it and beat it up. Yeah! And she'd love to confront it and beat it up, I'm sure, but... but she never learned how to confront it. Exactly that, yeah. At least, that's my read on it. For people, things are never that simple. Well, like we just said. She might have something on her mind. Yeah, I can't decide which one of these I want to eat next. <sighs> she sounds like she's trying to convince herself. Maybe what she really means is, are you worried about something? That's what I was thinking. Are you worried about something? What? How'd you know? I was keeping it a complete secret from everybody! You are a master of tact and subterfuge. Actually, I suspect she's going to say no. What are you talking about? <laughs> what, 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 what are you talking about? I don't really worry about things. Uh-huh. I like how what actually happened was literally a fusion of the answers <laughs> that we provided. Well, let me beat you up. That'll make us all feel better. I disagree! There's no way I'd ever worry about anything! Really? Everybody has things they worry about. Well, not me! People feel hesitant or uneasy, and sometimes you just need to vent about it. That's when I hit things, and then eat them after I've hit them! Well, I was going to say you can hit me if it makes you feel better, but I don't like what follows. Tell me. That's wrong. I'm not that weak. Click! Ah! Uh. Uh! Akane swung her arm and hit the light switch. Once again, I am in a room in the dark with a beautiful woman. I don't think that's what Hajime needs to be worried about. <laughs> it's only dim, but I should still be careful. I know you're around here somewhere! Like right in front of me was the last place I saw you! 
I'm just gonna start swinging my arms and walking around. Joke's on you. I'm so short. I just got a duck. <laughs> bam! Hi, Jimmy. Why'd you say bam? <laughs> That's what the line said. Ow. And I've already walked into a shelf. Yeah, you walked into a shelf. Hmm? What's that white thing? It's my freaking shirt! Ah! How? I somehow managed to turn on the light and... I saw Akane crouched on the ground, trembling next to a white sheet because she's scared of ghosts. Well, this is either her remembering some trauma from her past or about to fake us out with a gag. Or both! It, it could be a fusion of both! It probably fell from the shelf when I walked into it. Ghost! It was a ghost. Yes. Yes, it was. That's not a ghost. It's just a sheet. Ghosts are sheets! You liar! Look at it! I, I'm not lying. See? Look at your feet. I see a sheet. That means it's a ghost! Right? <sighs> Forget about what you saw just now. Yes, ma'am. Or I will kill you. Huh? But if you kill me, I'll become a ghost. Ah! Ghost! I, I mean, knock it off! Strike me down and I should become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> if you tell anyone, I'll kill you. If I even catch you thinking about it, I'll kill you. But I'll kill you in a way that doesn't let you come back as a ghost. Uh, okay. Because you can't tell other people that I have weaknesses, even really simple ones. It, it's okay. Huh. Afraid of something she just doesn't understand? Rather, I should say, afraid of fear? Yeah, afraid of fear. She's not going to be afraid of other things. Um, how to put this right? Well, sometimes a ghost is just a ghost, I guess, but... She's more afraid of weakness? Perceived weakness? Coming off as weak? Yeah, like, you just sort of take everything that she's been bottling up and denying and then roll it into a ball of something that doesn't exist, i.e. a ghost. <laughs> and then and then that, she just can't hold herself back. I, I can't quite articulate that in the in a way that I'm satisfied with. I kind of have an idea of what you're talking about. That, those are the lines that I'm thinking of. I'll get you for this. You just wait until I tell Monami what happened on my way out. But it'll be my version of events, Hajime! I'll show you! No. I don't know if I should remember this or forget about it. Uh, Hajime did what? What a beast! And after I put so much trust in him. But I never thought I'd ever see Akane make a face like that. Gotcha! <laughs> you win this round. Fear of weakness. That is something that makes sense, given her situation. And it certainly ties into her actions as an ultimate despair after Junko died. Allowing herself to waste away like that. It was like she perfectly became her idealized version of weakness. Yeah. In order to fill herself with such despair. Yeah. Which, for the record, is completely insane. <laughs> I don't think anyone here... Thinks of the despair as sane. I... This is completely irrelevant to everything. Yeah? I am so surprised by the description of this weapon that I just feel like I ought to point out the calling this the Seven Sword and saying its number of uses is already maxed out. Like, uh -huh. not a seven-branch sword, but a, the Seven Sword. Uh -huh. That is a very specific reference to the Game Boy RPG Saga 2. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you're going to find in one of these. Very well, Akane. For your final FTE, take this. Canned food. <laughs> it just seems appropriate. Hmm. 
there was this thing that I wanted to talk to you about, <laughs> but I don't remember what it was. Hajime. Are you okay, Akane? You made sure you forgot what you saw, right? What I saw? Oh, you mean the ghost? When we were in the storage room and you saw the ghost? And got scared by the ghost? Timmy, I will kill you! And you will die! And then I will stuff you in this prepackaged orzato den and eat it! And then I will be a ghost? No, oh, stop it! Ooh. This anger is the real deal. I don't think she's just embarrassed about what happened. <laughs> Die! Still, I think everyone is scared of something. Everyone except for me. Plus, it's normal to be scared, and you are a girl, so... S Stop! We started these FTEs by saying that she was repressing a lot and sort of lying to herself, uh -huh. we might have been right about this. <laughs> just, just stop it! Don't treat me like I'm weak. Huh? I'm not weak. Being weak is bad, so I can't be weak. If you get kicked around and beat up, or cry and scream that there's no food or medicine, no one will help you. And the next time I say someone's name, I might be talking about a dead body. That's the kind of place I grew up in, okay? Weak people die, and there's nothing you can do about it. No matter what happens, you can't complain. What's, what's wrong with being weak? Huh? It's normal to be weak. Humans feel overwhelmed sometimes. And even cry. I know I do. So what's wrong with that? I don't think real strength means you don't accept your weaknesses. I think real strength means you overcome them. Move past your problems instead of ignore them, is it? <laughs> Bravery is not an absence of fear. Bravery is doing what you do in spite of the fear you feel. It's not that you aren't scared. It's that you don't let the fear hold you back from doing what needs to be done. And strength is like that too. You took care of your brothers and sisters, didn't you? They were weak. You were there for them. Well, that's different because it isn't actually a coherent worldview. <laughs> that's why she has so many problems. Yeah, yeah. But she's able to ignore them most of the time, which it's good sometimes. It's great in a situation like this. Ignoring your problems in order to do something is one thing, but you can't live your life like that. Ugh, get, how'd you get inside my head? I know you're small, but it's not like you crawled through my ear. There's a lot of room in here. It's weird. When I talk to you, I feel like I'm getting really weak or something. Well, that's because everyone I talk to reflects their own insecurities and everything on me and come to realize about themselves the problems that they're facing. I'm getting too meta, aren't I? Are you calling me weak? No. I was, so, I was much stronger when I was alone. Stop saying things that don't make sense. Akane, how can I get through to her? I need to explain this in a way that Akane will understand. I think the one we need to pick is the one that isn't an actual saying. What? Because she's not going to know what those other two mean. But that doesn't make sense. <laughs> she's not going to care about two heads are better than one. And how is running a red... <laughs> and how is everyone running a red light? Actually, I guess that is the only one that makes sense for what she's saying. Or what <laughs> Hajime is saying, which is everybody's afraid. Too many cooks spoil the broth is just, here's the food. And Akane <laughs> doesn't care about how many heads or tails you have. Uh, how should I put this? You know, as long as we all run a red light... What's a light? Uh, none of us are old enough to drive. You can't do that! That's dangerous! You can run over! All the cars will come! They'll kill you! They're just these mad cars driving around <laughs> like a... 
thousand miles an hour. It's terrible. Do you know how many siblings I lost to mad cars? Oh God. You're, you're right. Well, I, I get what you're trying to say. If everybody runs across the street at the same time, we'll all get hit by the mad cars and die and go to heaven together. And then we can be happy, right? That's what you're getting at? You made sense of that? Are you are you trying to kill me? What? No! Well, when, when everyone's together, they can make up for their weakness by fighting the mad cars. <laughs> That's what you mean, right? <laughs> sure. You can't run a red light! Not ever! You're right. She's probably sensitive about stuff like this because she has younger siblings. You're not weak at all, Akane. You don't need to try so hard by yourself. We're all here for you. Especially in this situation. We should all work together and do our best. Right? I offered my hand, and Akane cautiously gripped it. Just as I thought, her hands were very warm. Coach Nekomaru said something similar, but I didn't understand, so I didn't listen, but somehow I understand now. Your words make sense to me. Akane gripped my hand tightly. I feel a strong bond forming between Akane and me. That's right. We're not alone. We can move forward and overcome our worries and hesitations. I hope Akane, who's been living alone her whole life, is able to understand that, even if it's just a little. Ended on a remarkably positive note, didn't it? More so than a lot of the others. It's like the only thing that made her ultimate despair... Well, it was her background, yeah. right? but also her thoughtlessness in response to it. Like, her basic instincts and attitude are pretty good. Her unwillingness to face it, not necessarily her inability to face yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right about that. If she that. faced her past with the same kind of attitude as she faces normal things, I think she could have overcome it. You know, maybe if we would have gone through all of Akane's FTEs before... The end of chapter two, I wouldn't have accused her over and over. Don't lie to yourself. It's important to face your true feelings. Starving for affection. I wonder if we'll get panties. Peach muscle? <laughs> we were wondering. Point of order, it wasn't really the strong devouring the weak, was it? Wasn't it just the weak being devoured by weakness? Akane's favorite panties. They emphasize freedom of movement so they don't interfere with fighting. Now, I could see that it is theoretically possible to wear underwear that interferes with fighting. <laughs> but what would ever make you want to wear such a horrible <laughs> device? <laughs> the other thing that I like, uh -huh. the gymnast stuff. Uh-huh. Utterly irrelevant to anything. Utterly irrelevant. Compared to every other character, even Leon, she gives no craps about this so-called talent. She can't even consistently do it. If she's feeling it, then she's great because of her high physical abilities. If she's in the zone, perfect. But if she's not feeling it, she doesn't know any gymnastics. <laughs> All she knows is survival skills. That also makes her the least talented, talented person. One wonders why Nagito didn't actually dump on her. At least Leon could do perfect baseball without trying. But Akane has to actually be feeling it or she can't perform at all. Hmm. Now she's apparently able to perform well enough to get that title of ultimate or super high school level or whatever it was, but... It's just interesting, is all. In any case, we end this episode the way we have ended many episodes, staring at undergarments. 